Welcome to the short video tutorial on baselining with CodeBeamer. Today we will learn what a baseline is, how baselines are managed within CodeBeamer, how to draw a baseline and how to compare baselines. First of all, a little explanation. Baselines in CodeBeamer capture the state of your digital content in a moment. Pretty much like tags mark a particular state in the source code in a version control system. When you create a new baseline, a snapshot of your wiki pages, documents, comments and attachments is saved. In the future, you can go back in time and browse an earlier baseline to see how that content looked in that snapshot. Baselines can also be compared to find out what content has been changed between two snapshots, when exactly and by whom. Baselines are useful for audit purposes including deviation against the previous baseline, certification for an approval, comparison to another baseline, maintaining wiki pages for multiple product releases, or all of these together. Let's start with a little demonstration in a live system. Within our requirements tracker, we have the document view of all our current requirements. We can see the structure on the left hand side and the content of the requirements on the right hand side. We are currently in the head revision. This box over here lets us quickly select between different baselines. We have a picture, we have a description and we have a link to another work item. This is a requirement. The requirement tells us that the car in the picture before must be faster. So I'm going to go back. First of all, I want to capture the initial state of my project and documents, so I'm going to draw a first baseline. This can be done by clicking on Baselines, New Baseline. I'll give it a short description. This is my project start baseline and I will create it. You can see the baseline has been created and I can select it later on to see what state I was in in that particular point in time. Also I have the possibility to select the baseline from the button over here. Next I want to do some changes. First of all I want to remove the picture and insert the one with the faster car. Select another picture, drag and drop it in here and my change is done. I can add some text also. This is a cool car. I'm going to save my requirement. So my requirement has changed and I can also change the according task over here. It still says the car must be faster, so I'm going to change that and tell it that the car is faster. When I've done my changes, I will draw another baseline. I can do this from anywhere within my project because the baseline will cover all the documents and work items of the current project. These are the first changes and I tell it that I changed the picture and added some text. Now I have created two baselines. Let's see how we can jump back in time then. We go to our document view and we can see that we currently are in the head revision and there's this picture of the cool car. So let's see some changes that have been made. I'm gonna jump back to my project start baseline. You can see that the background is turned yellow and CodeBeamer tells me that I am now viewing baseline version project start. There's the old picture, there's no text and you can see that the baseline actually captures the links to other work items and their state. So you can see that the text still says the car must be faster. So this is the original version of the work item as well as the original version of the documents in the requirements tracker. When I switch to my first changes baseline that I have just drawn you can see that it's also yellow because I can't change it anymore but there's already the new car. There's a text down here and when I jump into my work item I can see that the car is faster. 
when I did some changes to my project, I want to compare what the difference between the two baselines is. I can easily do this by clicking on this little hash sign over here, select the two baselines that I want to compare, and click on Compare Select Baselines. This pop-up over here tells me that I changed the picture from nice car to fast car and that I added some text. It tells me when, who and in which version the requirement has been changed into. This concludes our short tutorial on baselining with CodeBeamer. I hope you enjoyed it and I'd like to welcome you soon on another video tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.